All right, we're gonna keep with the same idea of figuring out our grade um, down here below, but now I'm gonna have a missing um, grade. So I'm gonna try to figure out not my overall class grade, but instead what I need to make on the final exam. So Trey's in a class with a whole bunch of different types of grades. So attendance counts as 5% of his grade, and he made it 80 on attendance. Now again, I change all my percents um, to decimals. You might see some people work it slightly differently, and that's okay. Um, it's all going to work out in the end, so uh, it doesn't really matter how you think about that. And then homework is counted as 10%, and Trey had a 90% on his homework and quizzes count as 15% and Trey has an 82 on his quizzes and there are two midterms they each count 20% and he had an 81 on his first midterm and then he had a 89 on his second midterm And then last, the final exam is counted as 30%, but we don't know what he made on the final exam. So I'm gonna call that X because I don't know what that is. And overall, Trey wants to have an 80 in the class. He wants to have a B. You know, there's rounding and we do round in our class, so 0.795 would get you an 80, but just to make anything easier, an A is going to be a 80%, I mean, I'm sorry, a B is going to be a 80%, an A is going to be a 90%, a C will be a 70%, and we just won't worry about rounding for these um, homework questions so that it doesn't make it any more confusing than it might already be. All right, I'm going to reduce this down. So 0.80 times 0 0.05 is 0 0.04. 0.90 times 0.10 is 0.09. So I'm just multiplying all these in my calculator. And if you wanted to type all of them in at one time, you could if you didn't want to do each one individually. I'm going to combine my like terms. So all the ones that don't have an X, I'm going to combine together. And that gives me 0.593 is equal to point, oops, plus point 30x is equal to point 80. And this has given me a pretty simple algebra problem to solve. It started really nasty up there in my first step, but now I've really got down to a two-step problem. I just need to solve for x. There are decimals, which are never super fun, but the same basic algebra steps that we've used for a long time. So that my calculator actually gives me 0.69, but since I know I changed all my percents to decimals, I'm going to write that. Um, I'll write that up there. The answer is going to be 69%. So not bad at all. All right, Part B is going to be very similar, but um, Trey wants to make an A in the class. So I want you guys to try to pause and set it up. Um, if you're kind of clever with it, you don't have to start all the way at the beginning because his grades have stayed the same. So you can kind of just change that 80 to a 90%. And don't worry if you get kind of a weird answer for it. So go ahead and hit pause and try that one. All right, coming back, I'm going to be a little lazy. Instead of starting all the way over, I know his grades, once I type them in, add up to that 0.593. Instead of equaling to 80, I'm just going to equal it to 90 because Trey wanted an A in the class. So I'm just going to solve for X. Now when I do this last step, when I go to solve for X, I get 1.02. So that's 102. So that means it's actually not possible for Trey to make an A in the class. With the grades he has, the best grade he can hope for is a B in the class. So we got that, and I know that because it's over 100%, or it's over one for the answer. So that's what I meant by you might get something that's a little um, weird.
for an answer. However, we've got this part C. So we're gonna keep our same grades that we had from before, but now we're gonna say that the lowest test grade is replaced by the final. So now I'm gonna have two X's. I don't know what the final is, and I don't know what my grade for my lowest test grade is gonna be. So I'm gonna come back up to this step here, and I'm gonna keep a lot of that step. I want it to be an A, so I'm gonna get 0.90. His attendance is gonna stay the same. His quizzes are gonna stay the same. Uh, oh wait, those are his homework. His quizzes are also gonna stay the same though. But this first test was his lowest test grade, so that's the one I'm gonna replace with the final exam. His second test grade was higher, so I'm gonna keep it. And then I also don't know what his final grade is. So you can type these in one at a time, or you can um, type them in all together, either way. But I do have those two now with the X. So I'm gonna get 0.90. Adding all the ones without the X, I get 0.431. Adding the X's together, I get 0.50X. And then we're gonna do those same steps to solve. So just trying to get X by itself. I don't have very much room left. I'm gonna get X is equal to 93.8%. So if Trey were to make a 93.8 on the final, it would go back and replace his 81, his first test grade, and he would get an A in the class.